Hi there! You're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we're gonna do a little plant craft slash garden hack and I'm gonna show you how you can protect your seedlings in the early spring, late spring time. It's time my seedlings have all hardened off. They're ready to go in the garden but they're really tiny still and we still have some lower temperatures that dip into the 30s and it's a lot of rain. So to protect those seedlings just a little bit, just to give them a little extra boost, I like to add a cloche over them. And there's lots of different cloches. There's some really beautiful Victorian style cloches. I'll throw some pictures up on the screen there for you to see. But I do it the super simple and easy way. And we're gonna show you two different kinds of cloches in this video, but stay tuned because I have another really fun, easy cloche hack uh, coming up next week. So to begin with, we are going to plant these three types of seedlings out. This is a milkweed. Oops. Huh. Uh, this is a showy milkweed and it's gonna go right over there into that butterfly garden. And then these are two different types of pincushion flowers or scabiosa. This one is the snow maiden, it's white, and this one is the black knight scabiosa. Um, and it's super deep, dark purple with white little bits on it. Um, and so those are gonna go over in those two empty containers there. So while we're over here in the shade for just a moment, I'm just gonna show you what my intentions are. For the showy milkweed, I'm actually gonna plant them up in a little circle and I'm going to use this um, soda bottle that we cut off the bottom of and it'll just go right over the top like so. Um, once the seedlings are planted out and it'll act like a greenhouse and I'm leaving the top off so it can get some moisture inside. We also have a larger one for um, some peas that we're going to do and it's it was just a bottle of distilled water and I will show you how I uh, made it in just one moment. I'm going to use this water to water these in so let's get those going. So these um, pincushion flowers got sowed on February 4th and they've been in my kitchen growing and then they've been hardening off for about a week, maybe two weeks. Um, I had put this many out here with the intention of putting them in the theme garden, but the theme garden is getting completely revamped because we're going to be getting a greenhouse. So I'm trying to not put any flowers out there because everything's getting moved. I don't wanna lose these because these are actually a perennial in my garden. So I'm just gonna let them grow up in this, in these different containers here um, for this season. And then next year we could put them out around the garden and separate them out a little bit so they're bigger plants. I'm going to give them a little bit of slow release fertilizer. So we've got that here. So if you remember, these were grown in egg cartons 
and oh and technically we could plant the whole egg carton but what i found last year is it just didn't break down quickly enough because we just don't get very much heat it's really easy to just peel them away and keep their roots intact so that's what i'm gonna do All right, so for these containers, I'm actually going to use these cake choppers. It's a covered tray set that I found at Walmart. They had um, cake trays, I guess, but they were $2 for the set. And when I saw them, I knew they would be a perfect cloche and totally worth two bucks just for this. So. It's just a clear acrylic cake topper. I'm just gonna put it right on top of this. There is enough of a gap of between the cake topper and, and the container that rain will go down around the edges and then the roots can wick in from the soil and they'll be nice and protected until they're just a little bit more um, established, I guess. Cute! Okay, let's go do the other side of the project. So what I'm going to do here is just put this soda bottle right over three of the five. I can scooch it down pretty low in here and make sure that it's stable and not gonna knock over. So it just looks like that. And then I left two on the outside because they just don't fit in. Um, and we'll see which ones do better. So now that this is empty, I'm just gonna remove this handle, the label, and then we're just gonna take this box cutter and go right around the bottom and just take off an inch or two off the bottom. I have seen people use these little bottoms for like beef, like for bees, like fill them, you could fill them up with like rock or uh, glass beads and then have water on them and it's a place for bees to land in your garden. 
could absolutely do that if that's something you chose to do. In this particular circumstance, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to throw this away along with these plastic scraps. And then we'll go put these over our little pea seeds. All right, so you could see these peas coming up right here. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to give them a little bit of a jump start and get this down in the soil a little bit. do them to all of them. I'm going to check that side. Um, Better over there. But it has been three weeks, so we're just going to go ahead and put some more peas out um, so that we'll have, you know, a succession of peas. Oops, I went way deep. <laughs> <laughs> cool all right so that's gonna be it for today's video I just wanted to show you a couple of cheap free easy ways to put a cloche over your seedlings and help them get a little jump start in the spring until the next time keep celebrating your life bye